Okay, get ready, folks. Friday morning, a fun moment for this crowd at Fire Station 21 on the East Bank Esplanade. I present to you the David Campbell. Christened along with two other fireboats in the 1920s, the David Campbell has crept along Portland's waterways for 94 years. Besides fighting fires, it's seen Fleet Weeks at the Rose Festival and even welcomed the Spruce Goose on its way to McMinnville. Newer, faster fireboats meant retiring the David Campbell earlier this month. When this, this city was formed, you needed those because most of the business was done through the water, so the docks were here, and we needed those fireboats to protect the docks. Terry Foster is with Portland Fire and Rescue. When you see it, it is a sense of pride because not every city is able to have the waterways we have and the, and the resources and the need for, for big fireboats like that. So the David Campbell at full speed does about 15 miles per hour. Don Porth is a retired Portland firefighter. He's also the president of the David Campbell Memorial Association. Chief David Campbell died on June 26, 1911 during the Union Oil Fire. His crews were in danger. He saw the imminent collapse of the building. He went into the building to warn his crews to get out. They all did. He did not. The building collapsed on him and he died that day. Chief Campbell's namesake was originally purchased by the city for $103,000. It put on quite the show for those in town for a fire convention. I won't go try to go into the acronym, but it's about the love of antique fire apparatus. And so, yeah, geek out is it. These people are here going nuts. Mind-blowing to see something like this up close and still operational. And you can't imagine that something from 1925 can perform with such great proficiency. When they pumped the uh, 14,000 gallons a minute, we were very impressed. The legacy it leaves behind is undeniable. What's next is more uncertain. Porth would like to see it maintained or preserved as a historical feature of the city. So it's an 88-foot boat, you know, weighs, I don't know, 30 tons or some crazy thing. Where does it go? How do we manage that? Uh, we're working on creating some discussions that might help that. In downtown Portland, John Goodwin, KGW News.